Today we're going to review a hotel room that has a big balcony which is as big as the entire room and it only costs $200. This is Hotel Boss. What's up guys, so welcome back to another hotel review and today we will be reviewing Hotel Boss. Uh, apparently it's a 4 star hotel according to Google and in total it's a staggering of 1,500 hotel rooms and that's a lot. And we also found out that the owner of this hotel group is called Worldwide Hotels which also brought you the likes of Hotel 81 and Venue Hotel. And when we actually stepped into the room, it actually gave us Venue Hotel vibes. So if you haven't watched that video, go and check it out. So without further ado, let's begin the hotel review starting with check-in experience. And talking about the check-in experience, all in all, it was very, very fast. It only took five minutes. However, the service of the staff was really, really bad. And I mean, what do you expect from a $200 hotel? So overall, the entire check-in experience definitely has a lot of room for improvement, especially the service, but the speed-wise, really, really good and really, really fast. So without further ado, let's begin the room tour. What's up guys, so let's begin the room tour of Hotel Boss Premier Queen with Balcony. So as we enter the room, the hallway is not exactly super grand. As you move further into the room, there's the clothes hanger over here. This hanger is very familiar, like brand new hotel. And then you have a almost full-size mirror over here. Toilet-wise, very, very small. When we are stepping in, this is the basin, wash basin wise, very small. Sheeting area, confirmed plus job. I cannot fit. So yeah, as you can see, uh, I'm currently 178 and 100 kg very very tight. So yeah, now stepping into the shower area, as you can see, if I walk straight, I can't really fit. Rain shower, no soap, two bottles of soap, it's just this size. And there's no inbuilt soap as well, only these two bottles. I also like to highlight there's no toilet paper, toilet paper is this kind. And for amenities wise, there's toothbrush, cleansing bar, sanitary bag, and shower cap. So basically, that's the toilet. And stepping into the living area, as you can see, it's a queen size bed with two bedside tables. However, one side only has one electrical plug and the other side is nothing. Only two pillows with the queen size bed, really, really sad. And as you can see, relatively spacious, I would say. So you can put a sofa chair over there. And for the study table slash mini bar, the fridge is over at the corner there. And on the mini bar section, kettle, two bottles of water, coffee, tea, and two cups. Phone over there with a tissue box and the wardrobe is technically here because there are five hangers here and the hanging thing here but according to Rose if you hang there you cannot hang dress right yes TV wise it's a smart TV so of course <laughs> this brand you can actually find in giant at a very cheap price and you might be wondering what the door leads to it leads to Narnia and yes the door leads to the balcony two sun lying beds here sun I don't know what is this called our room is located at the corner so we have two views so as you can see this and the other side is actually the opposite direction of the HDB so yeah as you can see the balcony is as large as the room itself oh yeah we forgot to say that we are on level 5 at level 5 you really got this kind of view imagine what kind of view you get at level 19 which is the highest of this entire hotel but I did request for it but they never give. So now we're back in the room, we're gonna test whether this room is clean or not. And obviously I'm gonna check the TV. And I have a feeling this room is definitely not clean. Yeah, as you can see, a little bit of dust here. I'm gonna try another one here. Very, very dusty. So as for the flooring wise, it's decked out with timber tiles throughout the entire room from the toilet all the way to the balcony. What's up guys, so now talking a little bit about the room info, this room is Premier Queen with balcony, it's 17 square meters and all in all we paid $198, round up is $200 lah. And we booked this room through the hotel website and it does give a couple of benefits like early check-in and late check-out subject to availability. And this room doesn't come with breakfast, however if you want to have an add-on, it's $12 plus plus per person. And for the location of Hotel Boss, like I mentioned just now, it's located on the outskirts of Kampung Glam, right beside us is one of the mosques. And then right below there's cheers, there's also a bar and two restaurants within the hotel itself. And Kampung Club itself has a plethora of cafes like I've mentioned and these are the few couple of cafes that are most popular in Kampung Glam that you can check out. And in terms of public transport, there are a couple of bus stops around the hotel itself but right outside opposite is the one that will lead you to Boogie's Orchard and all the central areas. So very very accessible and one more good thing about it is that it's only 500 meters away from the vendor MRT and it's sheltered all the way. 
And from Lavender MRT, there's only two stops to City Hall, making it very convenient to access the entire of Singapore. However, I do want to add that if it's super duper heavy rain until we have a horizontal rain, you will definitely get wet when you're walking the shelter. But the shelter is better than nothing. So guys, so now we're gonna go through the in-room dining menu. Actually, Rose is gonna go through the in-room dining menu and we're gonna test its speed. So apparently, this hotel have two restaurants at level 1 and level 4. And the one for in-room dining called Salt and Pepper Restaurant. For the menu, it's actually come with a white spread from appetizers. You have mushroom bruschetta, chicken skewer, fritti soup and garlic bread basket. Frito. But they put fritti. It also had salad ranging from $5 to $18. For men's, we have steak, signature chicken, fish and chips, cheeseburger, ranging from $15 to steak, which is only $25, quite cheap. For Asian menu, we have chicken rice, we have fried rice, we have don. Pricing wise, it's also about the same. So we're gonna order just one main, which is the seafood migo ring. And now I'm gonna call the room service. Uh, can I check roughly how long does it take? Okay, can. Thank you. Okay, so apparently must be minimum of $15 and above then they were sent to the room. And we have to repeat the room number 3 or 4 times. <laughs> but they say it will take about 15 minutes so we shall wait. What's up guys? So it's been 18 minutes and the food just came. So more or less tally with what the phone operator or the FNB people just say. Lah. Overall, it looks like a uh, army food. <laughs> I hate you know it. It looks exactly like that. This egg noodle. That's okay. Not that hot. But it's alright. So initially when we were on the way here, we were checking Google reviews and I would say 9 upon 10 of them would say the food sucks. Maybe I would say it's about 2 to 3 out of 5. But yeah, it being relatively not so well tasting uh, portion wise really really a lot. And so yeah, we're just gonna have this random lunch and enjoy the view. The view really damn good. So guys, so just a quick one to do the facilities. Overall, I would say the facilities wise, not really the best. Swimming pool, however, do look slightly okay. Overall, as you can see from this bureau itself, it, it's quite big, but for the comparison to the room, to the size of the pool ratio, I would say it's very, very small. I mean, 1,500 rooms plus plus for a swimming pool this size, I would say it's a might be overloaded during the evening time or even the afternoon time as well. However, I would like to disclaim that I did not go to the gym this morning because it was too small. And when we were checking out the place this morning, it was actually quite crowded. And I think about four or five people were there. It really seems really really cramped it's located alongside the pool which overlooks the pool in a way with glass panels just right beside the pool itself so overall i'll say the facilities wise is not that good but better than nothing and you're only paying 200 plus per night for this hotel so yeah that's what you'll get also we did not have breakfast but we checked it out just now and it was not so crowded at around 8 a.m but now 9 51 when i was downstairs just now it was super duper crowded so if you want to have breakfast and if you're eating here at hotel boss go and eat early if not you'll be really really crowded what's up guys so welcome to the end of this hotel review rose isn't here because we are doing this hotel on a sunday and monday so she has to go off to work so i'm just gonna wrap this up so all in all i would say this hotel is definitely value because only 200 dollars per night plus minus however one thing i don't really like is that there are a lot of tour operators or a lot of tour groups that uses this hotel so at any point of time during the day the lobby is always filled with a lot of people really really in my own opinion it's really too much and even rose feels the same way so rose did tell me a couple of things to tell her guys and she said this hotel is not a recommend so yeah but i would say it's a recommend if you are a really budget traveler and if you are really trying to save every dollar and penny so yeah, I won't really dive in too deep into this opinion section, but if you love this video, remember to like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, comment down below and we will answer to the best of our abilities. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.